It's SNK's turn to get in on the Dragon Quest craze. Satomi Hakenden is their first RPG, and it is impressively generic. This is the game you'd get if you told a developer, I want a Dragon Quest style RPG and you have three months. Which doesn't mean it's a bad game, it's just one that seems to get a general reaction of, oh yeah, that exists. The title Satomi Hakenden is taken from a 19th century novel. It's commonly rendered in English as something like The Tale of Eight Dogs. Now I didn't say it was based on that book, because the game has absolutely nothing to do with the novel. It is set in Edo period Japan, and there are eight warriors who work dog into their names somehow. But that is literally everything that is taken from the story. In the game, the human world is at war with the yokai, and you take control of Shino Inazuka, a young samurai tasked with recovering eight prayer beads that will be used to seal them away. That's it. That's your story. Since this is an RPG, that means that you wander the countryside beating up monsters that randomly appear. That earns you experience to level up, and cash so that you can buy better equipment so you can kill monsters more efficiently, and repeat. You have to go to a castle to save your game. You just talk to the ruler immediately as you enter. There's two battery save slots in the game, and you choose which one you're saving to at the castle, so there's a really good chance of accidentally overwriting something if you're using slot 2. It doesn't take too long before you pick up your first additional party member, one of the other eight dog warriors, and a wandering monk who can cast spells. Over the course of the game, you eventually collect four party members, but it's always the same four. Despite the title being eight dog warriors, four of those dog warriors will only talk to you. When you level up, the game will start flashing your hit point upgrade and magic point upgrades, then you're given a number of ability points to assign to different stats. Attack, defense, or speed. The attack and defense can be increased by equipment, so speed is the more important stat to work on. Besides the usual array of town facilities, the weapon shop, the inn, the item shop, towns also have taverns that you can get a drink in, and they'll typically unlock the next phase of your quest. One weird thing in the game is that later on you can find items from other games and sell them for money. You can find Link's shoes, for example. You sell these things at the item shop, but be careful because you can sell key items in this game. Keep an eye out for the temples. You can pay there to resurrect party members or have curses removed. If you're cursed, the only options you can pick in combat are run away or talk. And if you get hit with a sleep effect on top of that, getting hit with a sleep spell removes even those options, and with both curse and sleep in effect, neither ever end, and so all you can do is wait out the combat. Along with experience points, your characters have virtue points. You gain them for defeating evil yokai, but can lose them if you attack peaceful ones. If you encounter a peaceful yokai, you can talk to them and they'll usually give you something. All of the best items in Satomi Hakenden are collected from yokai. Also, the enemy scaling is very steep. The combination of those two makes Satomi Hakenden especially grindy. You'll have to walk in circles for a long time to get leveled up enough to move on to the next section and find the equipment that you need. The game can take a while, but it doesn't seem to be especially complicated. The first two dungeons, for example, have a fork right at the entrance, but then afterward are basically straight paths. For my game session, I started out at this castle, got some information in town, did a little bit of grinding until I could afford a better weapon, and that took some extra time due to a death, went to a second town where I met the monk, did a bit more grinding so that we could survive the first dungeon, went through that first dungeon which is full of poison monsters, got a password at the end of it to unlock the second dungeon, and then started exploring that second dungeon. That was quite a bit of progress for such a short period. I'm running out of things to say about Satomi Hakenden. The game really is just this shallow. I like it visually. I think their interpretations of traditional yokai into 8-bit forms look pretty cool. Though by the end of my hour and a half play session I was already seeing palette swapped versions. This is not the only Satomi Hakenden game we're going to see in 1989.
Toei also released an RPG based on the book, but they called theirs Shin Satomi Hakenden. For SNK's RPG, I have trouble finding anybody who has any strong opinion on it. People who play it seem to react with, yep, that sure was an RPG. Satomi Hakenden is competently made. It does exactly what you'd expect from a Famicom RPG, and not a drop more. I doubt that by this time next week, I'm even going to remember that this game exists.